Hello my friends, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. I'm here in my beautiful Garage Gym as you can see. And today I wanna to give you a little bit of a different video than normal. This has much less editing, it's much less pretty, but the goal is basically to answer the question that I'm getting a ton of, and that is Coop, can you give us advice on how to build a home gym on a super budget, like under 500 bucks? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on Amazon and I'm basically gonna detail my recommendations for somebody building a home gym for under 500 bucks shipped to your door. Very basic, but hopefully it's helpful. Let's do it. Wait, 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 one more thing. If you like this sort of thing, I plan to do it for different budgets. So I wanna do it for 500, maybe 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, maybe all the way up to 10,000, $20,000. So if you like to see that, subscribe. Okay, friends, you've got 500 bucks, burning a hole in your pocket, let's build a home gym. For most of this, or pretty much all of it, I'm gonna to go to Amazon. Here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna give you some ideas on things you can do to build a home for under 500 bucks, okay? I'm gonna give you some, basically my suggestions, and then I'm gonna throw some extras in there. So first is a squat rack. I think most of your moves are gonna center around a squat rack. So there's a couple options here. The ones that I would go for are two that I've used, and one is the Fitness Reality 810 XLT Super Power Cage. Great name, right? So this is one that I think for a lot of people, this is a good option. Again, these are for under 500 bucks for the entire gym. So you've got to be looking, how do I want to spend my money? Well, this is a good option. One reason I think it's a good option is because it's got 800 pound weight capacity. I think it would hold more than that. I believe it's 12 gauge steel. Um, it's got a multi-grip pull-up bar that comes standard. It's got a lat pull-down attachment that's available. It's got spotter pins that come with it. And it's also got J cups and the spotter pins have J cups on it too. Now, obviously you have a nice barbell. This is not going to protect your barbell. Um, it's going to be a little bit shaky to the ground, but overall for the price, this is going to be hard to beat. So 252 bucks, 22 cents. Uh, you know, that's not the lowest that I've seen on this, but that's one I would look at. The next one I would look at one, I'm going to add to my cart just so you can add some extra stuff is going to be the cat barbell. Um, Oh, before I talk about that one, the other one as far as like a power cage or yeah, would be this one right here. This is 250 bucks, cat barbell, full cage power rack. Honestly, I probably wouldn't get that one as much as the fit reality due to like no attachments and fewer holes. Also no multi and it costs pretty much the same, uh, but that's your other option in my opinion for this price range. However, this one right here, the cat barbell, this is their basic squat stand. It's 12 gauge steel. You know, it can hold, they say 500 pounds. I think it can hold more than that. The J cup is super heavy duty, but I think you'd be fine. The uprights are two pieces, so it comes in one box. That's why shipping's so low. It's got a standard pull-up bar. It's, you know, it's the stability's not gonna be great, um, but it's gonna work and get the job done, and it's 120 points. So I think for most people, this is a fine option. Uh, so I'd add that to my cart. And then in addition to that, what I wanna do why would I need a protection plan on a squat rack? Oh my goodness. Okay, but I would also suggest adding spotter arms. The reason is, and this is for safety purposes, I hate when people bench alone without spotter arms. I know of people who have friends, or I actually have a friend who has a cousin who died because he was benching alone by himself. The bar went down, rolled back on his, on his neck. His mom found him. Horrible story, but... Just listen to me, don't bench alone. Okay, so you got your squat rack. Next thing I would look for is a barbell. Now barbells, you can spend a lot of money on barbells, but for this purpose, I know which one I've got in mind, but I'll talk about a couple. These Synergy bars, good. I've got the games ones in my house. Difference between these is that one's just got Cerakote. Um, decently priced. Another company to look for is this Go Plus. Another one is Xmark. This body solid one here for 100 bucks. It's seven feet, but it's got really low weight capacity. So honestly, I would probably suggest avoiding that one. And the one I would go for is the Cap Beast Bar, okay? I have this one in my garage. I've had it for a long time. One reason I like it, it just works for the price. It's going to use, like, basically spring steel. It's not incredible. So it's 110K tensile strength. For most people, it's not going to deform over time as you use it. Twenty-five bucks. It just works, okay? This is just a bar that, you know, if you want a deep, Bell, this is the one I would suggest. They've got this X Mark Voodoo that's not bad, um, but you're looking at a higher price. I think for this price range, the bar that I would most look at 
bad boy right here. It just works. It's not the greatest, but it works. Next is you're going to want a bench, okay? Well, there's lots of bench options, but I think in, for if you're looking to spend under 500 bucks, most people should probably buy a flat bench, okay? And the flat bench I would look for different ones that are available, but um, you know, a lot of these are actually going out of stock. For most people, I would buy the Amazon Basics bench. Uh, however, the Amazon bench does appear to be out of stock. I'm going to type this in to see. I looked at this yesterday and it was in stock, so I would get that. Oh, no, there it is, but it, let's see. Yep, it is. Okay, put it in. They've got some in. So this is the one I would suggest for most people. It's 54 bucks. Um, the, it's usually cheaper. I've tested this thing, you know, like we dragged it behind a car. We made like a funny video with it. Um, and it just works. It's not the greatest, but it works, okay? And it's going to, they say it's got basically a 600 pound limit. I think it could do more after feeling it. It's probably got, I, I would guess this is 12 gauge steel. Um, but again, for this price range, that's a good option. Now you can get, okay, and there's a few that I would look at if you want an incline bench um, that are like somewhat decently priced. Uh, one of them is from Rep Fit, and the Rep Fitness incline bench is a good bench. You're going to spend a little bit more on it. It's the you know AB three thousand, if I want to say. But another option is this Cap one here, this Cap Deluxe Utility Weight Bench. It's very similar to Titan. It's not great, but it it is good for the price, 135 bucks. This one from Steelbody, it's a little bit more expensive. That one's not bad. This Bowflex one is super popular, 230 bucks. It's one of the most popular ones. I would suggest staying away from these 80 bucks and below. And I honestly, for most people in this price range, I would just get a flat bench. But if you want to incline this Bowflex one out of these options at this price point, it's a good option. Or the Rep AB, I believe it's 3,000 or 3,100. But I'll put, a, I'll put all the links in the bio below so you can check all these out. Okay, so you've got your you got your squat rack, you've got your bar. Now what you need is you need some plates. So this one's going to be really hard right now because of the environment that we're in. But I'm basically going to give you the ones that I think I would suggest um, at any time. And if they're out of stock, they're out of stock. And I'll put some updates to the link. You can find ones that work, but the ones that I would most suggest for people that are looking for cheap plates outside of Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace, because that's what I would suggest going to Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace first. If you want to buy new though, um, you could go with these right here. These are the cap two inch Olympic grip plate. I've got a bunch of these. Uh, really the thing that I don't like is the outside diameter of them is a little bit smaller than a standard hydrated plate. Uh, so something worth looking at. Um, but for the price, you're going to get much cheaper than that. If you really want to go cheap, even cheaper than those, you can go with, I don't love these plates. Um, you often see these at like, you know, sporting goods store, you know, plate again, they're just not great plates for right now though. These are going to be ones that are in stock. Um, so I'm going to add a couple to the cart just because, uh, right now you need some plates and there's not going to be a lot that are available. Now I do want to point out if you're looking, plates the bumper plates that i would suggest off of amazon if you're just like i said the cheapest bumper plates that are available the cheapest ones that i've seen are made by hulk fit they're also under the name everyday essentials on walmart um man i know i know this it's like i know too much about this stuff but the <laughs> these hulk fits uh they they work okay they're pretty popular in our community on this site under Hulk Fit, I don't know if they have some agreement with Walmart or what, but they put them under different color coatings. 45 pounds should not be red, it should be blue. But for the price, it's hard to complain. By the way, they've upped the price right now just because there's so many that are out. But you can look at these at Walmart under Everyday Essentials as well, and they'll be a little bit cheaper. And I believe the color coating is accurate. So if you want some of those, okay, so you've got your bar, you've got your bench, you've got your plates, you've got your rack. Really, the main thing that I would suggest getting next is going to be some collars, okay? And collars, Olympic collars are great. Uh, you don't need to spend a ton of money um, on collars. Uh, you know, I like having like, you know, the Oso, the Rogue type collars. 
or lock jaws. But if you just want something cheap, I've got a ton of these Clout Fitness ones in the garage that uh, to review, and they're actually much better than the price would uh, give. And they also have a lifetime warranty. They say it's cheaper if they break if they just give you a new one. So they don't even repair them or anything. They just give you a new one. So I would suggest most people buy these. I do not like those green tin green ones over there. Those ones are not nice. Uh, not a big fan of those. But you know, if you got the money, you can buy lock jaws or things like that. But you know, we're we're on a budget, bro. So if we're on a budget, we need to keep it under a budget. So I've got five items in my cart. Let's kind of see the damage here. So I've got a rack with spot arms i've got a bar okay barbell i've got a bench beautiful okay i've got plates and colors okay i need to add one more of these bad boys here um they're going to up the price a little bit so we're going to be around 470 okay 472 so that gives you enough so you got deadlift bench overhead press yeah it's not a lot of weight but you know i would suggest weight new i would suggest you know just just going with, you know, something you have on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. But that's a great option there. And you can do a lot of 45 pound plate. Obviously, you can add to the bar, but you can also do, you know, ancillary lifts like snatches and swings and carries because it's got handles and you can use it for ab work, things like that. So for 470 bucks, you've got a pretty good setup there. This isn't the good setup. Like I'd suggest this being like a starter setup and you're going to want to upgrade pretty quickly. But for somebody that's just one, I got 500 bucks, Coop. I need help. What do you suggest for outfitting an entire gym? That's what I would suggest outside of looking on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Now, I do want to give you some extra options for things that maybe are out of the ordinary. And one is adjustable dumbbells. I really like adjustable dumbbells, and there's actually quite a few cheap options I'm thinking of are Bowflex Select Tech 552s. They're these right here. They're also often, often had for like Oh, I think 250 bucks or less. That is a great option. Um, and they go up to 52 pounds. Not bad. I like power best, but they are quite a bit more expensive in most cases. But you can get this 5 to 50 pounds for 296 bucks right now. This 24 pound pack of two here, you can get it for 147. And then there's this Yes for All set. They may be sold out. Yeah, they are sold out. But they look like these. Um, they're style plate and they're very cheap and they're pretty popular you know amongst people that will dumbbells so that's one option and then another option i want to point out is sandbags so sandbags are another piece of equipment that you know it's like high effect it's, they're very effective but they're also cheap so i'm going to type in workout here so we can get it online here okay so you're going to see a lot of different options it's really like brute force sandbags they don't sell them on amazon um, Rogue makes good sandbags, good sandbags, but if you're looking for something cheap, these garage fit ones are probably going to be your best bet on Amazon. These, some of these cheaper ones, I don't love. Oh, things on here. I would definitely suggest the rep ones. The rep ones are great. They're going to be very similar. Garage fit. I wouldn't be surprised if they're from the same place, but they appear to be a little bit cheaper. And I also prefer dealing with a company like Rep because they're a lot bigger and they're going to be more likely to service and things like that. So I, I love these. You can do 25 to 75 pounds. I think sandbags are super underrated. You can do a lot with them and they just work. So then kind of give you guys is uh, kettlebells. So kettlebells, again, high effectiveness, you know, low amount of space, low expense, they just kind of work. I'd avoid some of these like adjustable kettlebells, kind of gimmicky. I would just go for like a 53 pound kettlebell, something like that. This cell grip, um, we're gonna do a review on that in the future. I've got a couple of them. They work great. If you have some dumbbells, you could turn them into like a kettlebell for carries and swings. Doesn't work great for cleaning jerks, that sort of thing, but it works for 35 bucks, super cheap. And then beyond that, you know, you have all these basic options. The one that I would choose for, you know, option would probably be this uh, Amazon Basics one because they're going to be any of the other companies because Amazon's the biggest company. So these aren't, uh, they're not gravity cast. These are kind of welded handles on, but for a lot of people, they're going to work. And I'd suggest around a 53 pound kettlebell and you can get that right. Pound kettlebell. 
59 bucks. It just works. So there's some options for you. One other thing, I do want to give you one other thing, and that is resistance bands. There's a lot of resistance bands out there. I know resistance bands are really popular for people to train with that don't have a lot of space. I love resistance bands. I add them to a lot of movements, not just barbell movements, but just movements. Yeah, you see all these like popular, like, you know, basically hip circles, booty gains. Like, I get it, but I'm not looking for that. What I'm looking for are these type of bands right here. These pull-up assist bands, they call them oftentimes these X bands, that sort of thing. That's what I would suggest. There's quite a few companies that are making these. Um, and all the ones they're giving me are basically just made for Instagram influencers who wants to show their butts off. So looking for rubber bandits. They, they probably are making some of the best ones on Amazon. Um, a lot of these you got to watch out for because they're using really cheap uh, rubber and latex. They're not using natural latex, they're using dipped, and they're not great. Iron Bowls are gonna be okay, but for the price, I'd look to Iron Bowl or probably most likely Rubber Bandits. Okay, so basically I've shown you how you can options. I'll put a link to a lot of these, the ones that I suggest um, in the bio below, but these are your options. And to build a home gym, you can get some for around 500 bucks. A lot of this stuff may be out. I'm watching so I can update the links for you guys, um, but this is a great option to build a home gym. Okay, 500 bucks out the door, gym equipment coming in, gains to you. Okay, that wasn't the most comprehensive, obviously, video that we've done, but based upon what's out there right now on Amazon, a lot of people building home gyms, that's what I would suggest. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you subscribe. See you next time. Peace.